All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Picophone. We have a new mission. It is mission number seven. Is it chilly in here? Now, prior to this, we did have a different mission number seven. This was added in in the, in the middle of all the other missions, which makes all my titles obsolete. <laughs> Um, so all, all so if you're seeing this now, know that mission number seven is now, is it chilly in here, even though maybe a week ago, a month ago, it was something different. And you never know, if you're watching this a week after it's been posted, a month, a year, two years, it might not even be mission number seven anymore. But as of right now, at the time of recording this video, it is mission seven. Is it chilly in here? It's a pilot mission, which means that there's potential for it to be you know carried on there might be a, a sequel or two the hottest heck chili cook-off is the biggest chili cooking competition in the world the good news is martin the back-to-back -back winner of last two years has crafted a recipe for what he calls the greatest chili ever he even has a secret ingredient that's sure to knock the judges socks off the bad news is He's very, very forgetful. Not only can he not remember the secret ingredient, but he can't remember the new password he used to keep it safe. Where there's a will, there's a way. Help Martin get into his phone and tell him the secret ingredient. Be quick though, nobody likes cold chili. I like cold chili. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, hot chili, you know, temperature wise is better, but I like cold chili. I, I, I eat cold chili with chips all the time. <laughs> I, I do. I do. It's delicious. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this mission. We need to help Martin. Help Martin find the secret, secret ingredient. There, there's Martin. Martin with his little chili pepper. Maybe that's the secret ingredient right there. That, 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 whatever that chili is. Um, let's go ahead and look at what we, so we just need to find Martin's secret ingredient. I thought for sure he was going to have like a password uh, to open a phone or something like that. Uh, let's see what the notes are. So notes are, are open. We got photos here. So the photos is password protected. So I think we're going to need to find a, a number probably in notes, maybe in messages. Elton, let's go ahead and start with Elton. All right, Elton. Elton, Elton, you answer your phone. Elton, I need help. Elton, it's important that you talk to me as soon as possible. There are lives on the line, <laughs> lives on the line. Martin, it's five in the morning. I'm sleeping. Whose life is on the line? Yours if you don't answer your phone. <laughs> are you threatening me again, Martin? Come downstairs and try this chili. You can't be serious. Come down here and try this chili or I'll start making you pay your half of the rent. I'll be right down. <laughs> look, look, Elton, if you don't want to start paying for your, for your rent, you got to try the chili. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. You try that chili if you don't want to pay your rent. I think that's a good deal. I'll talk, you know what? I'll be a chili tester, Martin. I'll test your chili. <laughs> I'll test your chili, Martin. You want to pay my rent? <laughs> I'm going out of town for a few days. I'm meeting some guy that drives town to town in a van selling the freshest, hottest, tastiest habanero peppers you've ever seen. You can't go meeting people in a van, Martin. That's not safe. <laughs> Your sister asked me uh, to live here with you to make sure you don't do anything stupid. I know it's been tough since Mary Beth died. Oh, poor Mary Beth. Sister died. But you can't go meeting random people in vans just because he says he has fresh peppers. <laughs> you want to know how you kidnap Martins? You tell him you got fresh peppers in your panel van. <laughs> Come try my fresh pepper, Martin. I'm already 200 miles away. How? I don't even have the alarm code. Do I even have my own key? Alarm code. Hmm. The key is under the, jal uh, the jalapeno planter outside. The one next to the 12-foot statue of the three-horned devil riding a motorcycle doing wheelies. Oh, and watch out. The flames are real. I've never seen that before in my life, but I'll look. <laughs> never seen it before in my life ever since I've been alive. What about the alarm code? Jazz told me never to give that out. I literally live with you. <laughs> I won't be able to go home. Where will I sleep? 
When I went to the rainforest in search of the perfect chili spices, do you think I had a home to sleep in? <laughs> You're gonna have to sleep outside, Elton. <laughs> do you think I had a, a, a big comfy bed? Martin, if you don't tell me the code right now, I'll break a window. <laughs> don't you dare. My grandfather built that house with his bare hands. First, I think you mean bare hands, not bare hands. <laughs> Second, this whole residential community was built like 10 years ago. My grandfather is younger than he looks. <laughs> Just tell me the alarm code, please. It's my favorite four-digit number, but in reverse. I literally use it for everything. Once I send it, delete it, I'll do the same on my end. Okay. All right, but if this gets leaked, I'll be so upset. Deal. Are you going to send it to me? Oops, I totally forgot. Let me look in my notes to make sure I didn't change it. Here it is. Remember to delete this. The last thing I need is another burglary. I'm still trying to find a place to buy a 1943 diamond plated salt and pepper shaker combo. So I, I don't think 1943 is the, is the number. Because the message that he sent was deleted. That's all right. Thanks. Uh, have a fun trip. Wait, do I put it in reverse or is it already in reverse? Yes. <laughs> do I put it in reverse or is it already in reverse? Yes. <laughs> that that that's correct. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> I mean, it's just two 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 options. You, you you try it one way, it don't work. You try it the other way, it work. All right, Brent. What kind of conversations you having with Martin Brent? Is this Brad? Nope. <laughs> it's Brent, the person in charge of the hottest heck chili cook-off this year. Yes, Martin. We talk very often, and I've hosted it for the last 13 years. So Martin's very forgetful. Inter it's really funny, uh, I'm sure. Anyway, before I was rude, so rudely interrupted, I was going to say that I have a question. Go for it. Well, it's more of a demand. Same difference. That's not the same difference. <laughs> A <laughs> question, but but it's actually a demand. But, it, but it's the same thing. It's the same same jam thing. Don't don't worry about don't don't worry about the semantics. Anyways, don't worry. We're oh, I need I need you to spread out the contestant boost. Don't worry, we're spreading them an extra six feet this year. Oh, oh you got it. Got to got to spread them six feet for the vid. Got it. Got to get them. Got to the, the the social distancing. I'm talking like four times that. You want. You want to spread 24 contestants 24 feet apart? Perfect. Let's do that. <laughs> That's really far apart. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm not saying I'm going to. I'm just trying to get a bit of clarity. Sorry, Brett. <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. That's what I want. It's Brent. That's never going to happen. Why do you even need that? Oh, yeah. My bad. I'm going to really spice things up this year. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. What do you mean spice things up this year? If you're going if you're not going to separate us, then you'll have to require anyone within 20 feet of my booth to wear a gas mask. Oh, them peppers are going to be hot. They're going to be potent. Why would we have to do that? The peppers I'm using are highly volatile, and according to a guy who sold it to me, they're so incredibly dangerous that if you breathe any of the peppers chemicals uh, you'll absolutely surely die. <laughs> wait, wait. If you breathe in the chemicals, you're you're absolutely surely gonna die. But you're gonna put them in chili for somebody to eat. <laughs> that's okay. That's 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 fine. That that is that is okay. That's a direct quote. Don't put people's lives in danger. <laughs> Me, I can't I can't do this with you. No, you can't use those peppers. Okay, fine. I'll definitely totally won't <laughs> wink. <laughs> You just text me wink. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, I need some extra space for the carnival I hire to perform at my booth. Not again. You will not curse me with this year, uh, this animal, with the animals. Carnival. Car carnival. Carnival is an animal? I, <laughs> I don't know. So I need some extra space for this for for the carnival I hired to perform him. I don't understand what carnival is. I mean, I know what my understanding my my understanding of a carnival is actually a festival. It's like a it's like a miniature theme park, like a like a mini mobile theme park is what a carnival is. You know, sketchy rides that probably are missing bolts. You you know you're 
they're they're super cheap to ride because you know you you get them cheap because you're potentially gonna die <laughs> when it when it breaks down on you. That's what a carnival is. <laughs> All right, so not again will you curse me with this year, uh, curse me this year with animals. Not after that horrible ostrich accident. No worries. How am I supposed to attract people to my booth so I can get the most votes? You know there are judges, right? There are judges? <laughs> what are your names? Answer me, bread. <laughs> I literally hate you. <laughs> We're not revealing that until the day of. You must not know the meaning of the of that word. And why hide them? For their protection? You afraid of what a madman will with a deadly pepper can do? <laughs> he's he's going to use that deadly pepper to get his votes. No, because we haven't picked them yet. Oh, oops. No deadly peppers. No circus acts. No tomfoolery or animals. We can't take another lawsuit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Martin. <laughs> Martin. Man with a van. Oh, the, the pepper seller. All right, so just to confirm, we're meeting in the parking lot of the old Blockbuster. Oh, Blockbuster? What is, that? This is, what is this, like 10 years ago? <laughs> 15 years ago? What was the last Blockbuster? Do they still have Blockbusters? I haven't seen a Blockbuster in... Oh, it's got to be at least, at the very least, 15 years. Shoo. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, it totally is. That works for me. Great. Just to be clear, it's $4,000 for the crate of peppers. I know. Thanks again for the deep discount. <laughs> $4,000 is a is a deep discount for those peppers. Well, these peppers were incredibly hard to collect. Also, I hope these are just for your collection because they're so incredibly dangerous that if you breathe any of the pepper's chemicals, you will surely, absolutely, surely die. <laughs> these They're delicious when cooked, though. <laughs> Completely harmless when you cook them, and delicious. I'll be cooking them, cooking them up to serve a large crowd. I mean, just don't cook them in public. I guess wear a gas mask when you cook them. You'd also have to hire someone to clean your entire house. That's no biggie. I can do that. <laughs> and please tell me the story of how you gathered these incredible peppers again. I must hear. All right, but only because you're my first ever pepper customer. That's because you're selling them for four thousand dollars a crate. So there I was, deep. In the rainforest, covered in bugs, dirt, and rainwater. That's why they call it a rainforest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, the only things I had on me were uh, patented pepper pickers, my half-empty canteen, and a protein bar from the vending machine at, a, at the hotel. <laughs> How do you have a hotel in the middle of a rainforest? Rainforest hotels are more like shacks that sit atop shaky trees. Oh my goodness, go on. <laughs> <laughs> freaking man with a van just like martin <laughs> i had survived for days searching for the most perfect pepper tree the locals weren't happy they rolled humongous boulders at me and shot poisonous blow darts at me finally i made it to the giant pepper tree and picked a peck of <laughs> finally i made it to the giant pepper tree and picked a peck of those perfect peppers <laughs> picked a peck of those Pick a peck of perfect peppers. <laughs> now I've risked my whole life just so you can finally make what you're calling it again. The greatest chili ever. Exactly. You risked your life for $4,000. No way. Double it. Are you sure? Are you serious? Absolutely. You can meet me now. So he's paying $8,000 for this for these peppers. I'll sneak out. I'm on my way. Sneak out. How old are you? <laughs> way too old to, to need to sneak out. Oh, so like in your 20s. No, I'm 72. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. I'll have the $10,000. $10, I thought you said 4000 I thought you said double 4000 I did. All right, totally. Yeah, see you soon. $10,000 for a crate of perfect peppered, picked, peppered, perfect peppers. <laughs> Harold. Who's Harold? Martin, how are you, my friend? I'm wonderful. Yourself? I'm still thriving after losing that arm. Ooh, lost an arm? Lions are tough to tame for a circus. Oh, it was an ostrich-related accident, actually. Oh, Harold lost his arm during the ostrich accident <laughs> in the private the prior year at the circus. Oh my goodness. So 
Uh, Martin set up a circus in, in the previous Pepper Festival, and freaking Harold lost his arm during a ostrich accident. <laughs> Anyway, I heard you were looking for me. Yes, I have a very important job opportunity for you and your circus. Why didn't you just text me? I honestly forgot I had a phone up until a few days ago. I uh, it, it do be like that sometimes. What's the job? Well, as I'm sure you've heard, the hottest heck chili cook off is coming up very soon. And I'm going to be unveiling the greatest chili ever. And I need a spectacle worthy of the flavors. <laughs> You want to hire an entire circus for your booth at the hottest heck chili cook-off. Exactly! Have you cleared this with Brent, the event organizer? Absolutely. He's very excited and approving. Really nice, gentle guy. Rarely gets angry. <laughs> Brett, I mean, uh, Brett, I mean, Brent. <laughs> Literally told Martin, you know, I hate you. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you looking for exactly? I'm thinking we could have five clowns on unicycles juggling, bowling balls on fire along, alongside sharp kitchen knives, a loose lion on a leash, <laughs> a loose lion on a leash. Last but not least, I need an ostrich. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you joking? What, too much? You know I don't work with ostriches anymore. Not after the accident. I'm so sorry. I thought you said it was a lion attack. But you're trying to order a lion too. There's so many things wrong with that sentence. Not to mention that you were there. Okay, replace the ostrich with something more practical. Can you do it? And if so, how much? I can do an elephant instead. I'm thinking it'll be around 30,000 and an hour. Uh, 30,000 30, an hour? Whoo, that's a lot of money. We can work out those details on site. Can't wait to see you there. Um, All right. <laughs> You're going to work out those details on site and freaking Martin's going to, you're going to, you're going to have that whole circus there. Martin's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to give you a thousand. But then again, I don't know. He might double it. You know, if Harold wants 30,000, you know, Martin might double it and give him 70,000. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Notes. We, we, we know that there's stuff in those. My last will and testament, a few of my favorite things, song lyrics, best joke I ever told in my life. All right. My last will and testament to whom it may concern. These are my dying wishes. If they are completed properly following my death, I'll haunt Elton for the rest of his life. <laughs> or if they aren't completed, he's going to haunt Elton for the rest of his life. I've lived in, in an interesting life. I was born in a poor family and raised on a small farm where we grew sheep. I love those sheep. To make a long story short, now I'm on the list of the 172 richest people in the world. That's that's pretty high up there, I think. 172? I, shit, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be like up, upset being 172, 170. I, I look, I'll even do you a favor, Martin. I'll be 173. <laughs> let me let me be 173. <laughs> I never wanted these riches, but now that I have them, I have to think about what to do with the money when I eventually perish. I'd first like to leave half of my money and my home to Elton Smith. Oh, that's nice. My personal assistant. <laughs> not his friend. His personal his personal assistant, who Elton is. Not, not his friend. Uh, he's the only one who can deal with the ant <laughs> Finally, I'd like to leave my top secret World Cup winning chili recipe to my friend in the van that <laughs> sold me some peppers. <laughs> the man in the van. You'll probably have to find him. He loves my chili, though. I imagine he will get the get the word when I die and show up to the funeral and lean against his motorcycle in a, in a distance with a single tear running down his face. Then before it's all over, he will loudly ride off into the sunset. My funeral should take place during a majestic sunset. Oh, yeah. The rest of my money. Um, Have Elton start the Martin's Chili and Sheep Charity Foundation started as a condition of him getting the house or money. That'll be hilarious. All right. I'm out. Peace, love, and chili. Martin McChili. <laughs> so, so before Elton can get half the money and the house, he has to actually start a Chili and Sheep Charity Foundation <laughs> and put the other half of the money there. All right. A few of my favorite things. Number one, chili. 
Number two, hard-boiled eggs. Marshmallow Peeps is number three. His favorite number, which is four or five, four, four, two. So probably backwards, two, four, four, five is probably the password to the gallery. Christmas, but in a different <laughs> Christmas in July. Uh, <laughs> whole milk using half and half in my cereal. What? <laughs> Who does that? Who uses half and half in their cereal? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be bad. My mom's friend, old friend, Deb, rip. There's tall pickles, chili but different. Prank videos, short pickles, 0 to 10% APR, long distance running, watching, not doing. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy watching other people run long distances. Partaking in them, not so much. Winning the chili cook-off is number 15. You would think that would be like right under number one. Scrapbooking, but with crayons and cooking utensils. Interesting. And purple. The color purple. Song lyrics. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> is it getting chilly in here? Or is it just me? Do you like some cold beers? And can you get them for free? Don't test me. I'm the chili boy. Don't test me. I'm the chili man. Don't test me. I'm the chili boy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now that I'm the chili man. <laughs> Repeat that a few times. Find record company. Make record company. <laughs> you can't find the record company. Just make the record company and, and, and you're fine. If you can't find the record company, just make the record company. Best joke ever heard in my life. Vegan chili. Because <laughs> chili is supposed to have meat in it. And you can't have chili without meat. So vegan chili isn't chili. All right. Two, four, four. Five. Yes. Perfect. All his photos. There's his there's his uh chili stand. He's got some cheese. Got some chili. He got his ladle. Got some crackers. Delicious. I could go for a bowl of chili right now. This gem delicious. Got some jalapenos there, some sour cream, peppers, it looks like. More chips, more cheese. I like that cheddar jack, that yellow and white cheese. Love it. All right, olive oil. On oh, this is the this is the recipe. This is the recipe. Olive oil, onion, ground beef, chili powder, cumin, cocoa powder, tomato paste, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, beef broth, diced tomatoes, red kidney beans, tomato sauce, and super special rainforest peppers. Top secret. Peeled grapes. Is that is that peeled grapes? Are we, <laughs> are we talking about actual peeled grapes or is there a pepper? Is there a legitimate pepper called peeled grapes? I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. If you know, let me know. <laughs> I need to know. Is there a pepper called peeled grapes? Or are we talking about just putting peeled grapes into a thing of chili and that's your pepper? That's not a pepper, Martin. But at least now we know. At least now we know it's peeled grapes. At least now we know it's peeled grapes, so let's go ahead and check the answer. Genius. Jam, genius. How how difficult was the mission? It was really easy. It, 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 it was really easy. Really fun. Really funny. Very easy. Very easy. Really fun. Really funny, though. Is, it's, is there an actual pepper called peeled grapes? That's interesting. Super easy, but super fun. Very enjoyable. I loved reading through all that. I loved uh, uh, just reading through Martin's um, co communication with uh, Brad, Brent, <laughs> Brent. <laughs> I love, I love reading that conversation with them and, and ma the man with the van, Elton, who was, well, there was another one. I don't remember his name, but yeah, that, really fun. A, a very fun story. Is it chilly in here? That was the current mission seven. Is it chilly in here? Hope you guys enjoyed that mission. Hope you enjoyed these Pika phone mission playthroughs and if you did hit that like button let me know in the comments below is there an actual pepper called peeled grapes i, I that that just blows my mind or is he actually using peeled grapes i'm gonna have to look this up i'm looking it up after i do this video <laughs> i've got to know <laughs>
If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.